we're back with more Cory Chat here on Cory Chatter, and uh, I still have Deb Sear in the studio. I'm so glad to have her here. Um, Deb, there is a new producer coming onto the show. Have you met him or her? Yes. Um, Kate Oates takes over in January, and we're at the British Soap Awards in May, and Right now, she's with Emmerdale, and we're Emmerdale fans as well. So when she was leaving the building, I had to let her know how much of a Emmerdale fan we were. And then it was a few months later, it was announced that she was coming to Coronation Street, which I'm happy she's coming because she does such a wonderful job. Like She doesn't drag on the storylines like how some of them are these days on Corey and good plots and so I'm good. looking forward to having her on good Coronation Street but is it Emma Dale fan I'm a little sad because that show is so great as well mm, <laughs> so true enough good and bad <laughs> <laughs> but the Corey fans happy she's coming and hopefully she can make some changes to the show that well they do drag some of the storylines out yeah <laughs> way too <laughs> long and that was the one thing when I first started watching Corey that and the comedy but the the, the point you know, like some of the storylines were over in a week. It was like, wow, I got to keep watching this because I'm going to miss something. Whereas the American soap, you could miss it for five years <laughs> and it's still going on. Yeah. But that was the one thing I did like about it. They don't drag on as much as the Americans, though. The no, the that's Corey true. soaps, no. Yeah. <clears throat> the uh, it'll be interesting to see if if we get some really strange storylines, like big twists, because they've pretty much done everything already. Right. You know, they right now um, they're dealing with a child with cancer. Well, they haven't done a child with cancer in the past, but they have done cancer. Um, they've done rape, death, suicide, uh, teenage pregnancies. Yeah. <laughs> they've and, done it all. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, and I always wonder. You know, what would I like to see happen? What well, everything's already happened. Like we've had what three tram crashes over right. the years in Coronation right. Street. So everything is going to be redone again and again. Is but there I guess a- when you live in a back street things like do repeat themselves. Mm-hmm. It so is. I guess it is kind of life like real well, in that sense. But you can't know what's gonna happen, but I and we talk about it all the time, Gina will tell you. <laughs> you know if it's Christmas, <laughs> something's going to happen. Exactly. Or a funeral a or funer- a wedding. A wedding. Oh, yep. definitely the weddings. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, just for the wedding to take place sometimes. <laughs> exactly. It's like, whoa. Mm-hmm. Like when uh, Sally was going to get married. Yeah, that oh, was close. And, and that Tim was wasn't going to show up. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> but that was the kicker on that one, was yeah. the wedding that wasn't going to happen. And then he happened. dropped her. I think that was a little bit of a... <laughs> Carrying her out, but <laughs> they're a good couple. We had to repeat and watch that part again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to back it up to watch yeah. watch yeah. her go down again. <laughs> um, I walked on the cobbles years ago, and it was fun to actually see it in person and see the backyards. Right. And I can remember when I was over there, it was Derek and um, Mavis were in the house with the the what do you call it observatory at the back conservatory in the back and i can remember putting my camera over and taking pictures because the fence was so high you couldn't really see over and the backyard was the backyard they filmed in it was pretty cool to see it right and i also got a picture with uh derek's gnome oh arthur arthur the one that went on the trip and was sending him postcards and that was Norris did that. Right. That's back when Norris had a sense of humor. <laughs> you know, he's just a curmudgeon of a character now. Is it? And I found the actor very similar to Norris when I met him. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's disappointing. I was hoping he'd be like a fun, spirited. No, he's just a little old. Well, that's not, how I but... found him. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it was his mood that day. Maybe. But some people are like that, too. So when you walk the cobbles and you go past all the buildings, is there an inside? No. Like, there's the rovers there is, though, right? You can actually go in the rovers? 
No. No, no. it's a different setting. They yeah. did have another Rovers off to the side, which they had used for parties and used to be able to get a drink in there I, when they you were... Could, you could drink when but, I was there. Yeah. yeah. But the last... The, the recent tours, they didn't have that. Yeah. No, the... Uh, they're the, all fronts. They're all fronts. If you open the door, there'll be the wallpaper just on the inside of the door, but there's no rooms or there's anything. There's no room it's, inside. It's used basically for storage mm. and and that. And they do the filming of rooms inside the studio. Okay, so you don't see them when you go on the tour? The Like the insides, or are they all taken apart all the time? Oh, they build it as needed. As needed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. or they'll go inside. Except for um, the garage they use for filming. Mm -hmm. um, the kebab shop they used to film in there. And I think the bookies. Oh, yeah. No, I think it's changed at the new studios. Right. I think they film inside Underworld. Mm hmm. And. I'm not sure what else they. Yeah, they mm -hmm. they build as needed. As like they if, go. If yeah. they yeah. if they only need one quarter or one corner of the rovers, they'll just build that corner That's all they have. and film it. They don't yeah. have to do the front banquettes if they're not cool. filming that. Well, there's some sets that are there all the time. The ones that they use, like the rovers, the cabin, um, the corner shop, Moy's rolls. Mm -hmm. I think they're set up most of the time, and then the others. As they need them. Because the insides of, like, all the houses are the, pretty much the same setting, except for furniture's in a different place and all that, right? Uh, for the most part. If you notice, mm -hmm. um, when you go in Dev's house, it's opened right up. It's mm -hmm. all basically one room. Right. Um, Ken's house, there's a little room. You open the front door, there's a little separate room to the left that used to be Blanche's bedroom. Mm. Um, and then you walk past that into their dining room. Um, Emily's house has the little room at the front. Right. It's amazing when you see them, how small they are. Yeah. Like you wonder, especially like the rovers, how well the cast get in there. Then there's the extras and the cameramen, yeah, the lighting. Yeah, there's a lot of people the, in there. <laughs> you wonder where they all fit. So it's mm -hmm. amazing how such a good job that they do mm -hmm. film in it. Well, the old uh, street, the old cobbles, <laughs> was built 75% scale. Right. The new studio is true to scale. Because when I was over there, the top of the doors were just above my head. So I, I felt really big. <laughs> I think they should have us all as extras. I think so, too. Yeah, that That's my one dream. <laughs> one they, day. They have, what is 85 extras, I think, are on there's call. There's quite a few. At any one time, there's 85 people they can call. Different heights and hairstyles and and such. Yeah, to do the show would be amazing to be on it, eh? Right, yeah. yeah. In my dreams. Oh, yeah. me too. I'd, <laughs> I'd love know. to be sitting at the Just back of Roy, Roy's, Roy's Rolls. Rolls. Having a cup of tea or <laughs> yeah. walking along the street. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm there with you. But also to be an extra on the show, you have to be a member of the Acting Guild okay. in England. Mm -hmm. So you have to be a dues-paying actor. Oh, Wow. Yeah, it's not just... They, they can, just don't pick you up off the street, eh? <laughs> no. no. I guess that's the acting laws or something. Duh. So who... Uh, do you have any idea who Andrew's bringing next? I haven't heard. No? Who would you like to meet? Oh, it would have to be someone on the show now. I'd like to meet and hear stories from Steve McDonald. Right. Because he's been on so long, I'm sure he would be a wealth... Right. Of stories. Um, like you said, Liz. Um, same thing. She's been on since... I remember her and the family coming on the show. 1989? Yep. Sally and Tim. I'd like to meet Sally and Tim. They would put on a great show, I oh, think. Oh. That I, would be good. I never even thought of that, Jean. Mm -hmm. That's who I'd like to meet. Okay, if Andrew's listening to this yeah, show... Sally and Tim. Yeah, we took a vote here, Andrew. Yeah. <laughs> We've met both of them a few times and oh, have you? Joe who plays Tim we met him he was him and Owen were the last to come out of the soap awards one year and chatted to us for quite a while oh nice <laughs> good hmm. guy I think he'd be terrific at a show in Toronto mm -hmm. yes that would be lovely <laughs> or anywhere close to Toronto yeah, Andrew yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyways I gotta thank you for joining me here today ladies Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us. Oh, thanks for making the trip up. And uh, we got to do this again sometime. 
Hopefully we can do a phone interview. Right. Or we want to come back to Huntsville, maybe in the summer. It'd be lovely. Lovely in the summer. It is nice in the summer. Come mm-hmm. up here and... Uh, we'll be back. We'll, we'll find Good. a place for you. Anyways, Good. thanks again for joining me on Corey Chat. And uh, tune in next week for some more fun and games. Oh, <laughs>